Hi everyone, I'm Suzanne. Welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share with you a Scholastic Book Haul. For those of you who are new to this channel, I am a homeschooling mom of one and we are a secular homeschooling family and we've been homeschooling our daughter since she started school. On this channel, I'm going to share with you the homeschooling resources that we're using and I'm going to share a lot about books. I am passionate about books. I love books. I love reading them. I love collecting them. I love sharing them. So there will be a lot of talk about books on this channel. And if that's for you, please make sure to hit subscribe and the little like button down below and the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. Okay, so today's video, I am strictly going to share with you the books that I purchased from Scholastic. And in our case, it's Scholastic Canada. And I have two book orders. I ended up placing two different orders, but I'm going to share them both with you today. These books are not separated into how I ordered them. I just put them all on a pile and I'm going to share them with you today. The first book that I want to share with you is called Poem of the Week. And I just, oh, <laughs> there's my little post-it note to remind me to credit the person who introduced me to this book. And it was the channel Mama Schmooze. And I will link that down below. But I first saw this in one of her poetry uh, videos. And I don't know about the U.S. Scholastic site, but for the one in Canada, this is currently on for $5. And I checked before I made this video and there's still some left on there. Now this says uh, grades K2 and my daughter is going into grade three. However, I think this is still appropriate for our upcoming year, and I'm going to add that in for the year. I think maybe next year she might be a little too old for this. However, now we're still good. And this is 50 Irresistible Poems with Activities that Teach Key Reading and Writing Skills and Inspire a Love of Poetry All Year Long. So I'm just going to add this into our weekly routine, and we'll do one. And it starts off with a poem for kids that are first going to school. And then it's very much seasonal as well. And for every poem, they give a little activity. For example, it's like using leaves to make paintings in the fall, Groundhog Day. Definitely a great one, I would say, for grade kindergarten all the way up to, well, we're going to use it for three for sure. For the homeschoolers that are watching, if you haven't done so yet, you can contact Scholastic and they'll sign you up as a teacher. And that's what I did. And I was searching their database and their clearance section and I came across these signs, which I love. And... I'm showing you this was the top of it because it does say middle and upper grades, but I'm totally okay with that. This means we'll have them for years. And each poster, it says targets vocabulary and key concepts. And I'm just going to show you those. So poetry. So we do a lot of poetry in our homeschool. And oh, oh, let the camera adjust. Now, if you want to hit pause and have a closer look at that, you can. So we have everything to do with poetry here. We have sonnets, verse, free verse, haiku, acrostic, feeling tone, couplet. You get the drill. I'm going to quickly run through these so you know what's included. We had fantasy. That's definitely, we're going to put up those two for sure, fantasy and poetry, because we read a lot of fantasy here. And that's for nonfiction. Oh, the light is glaring. Drama. Uh, science fiction, adventure, fairy tale, and mystery. So I absolutely love these and I think they're great for all your homeschool spaces. I'm going to probably have them throughout my house because I think they're great to introduce the topic and to get children curious and I understand why they're putting it middle grade. However, I know for us, we've already introduced many of these topics in our poetry study, like haiku. My daughter knows what a haiku is, for example. And here's a couple of books that I bought. This one is by Peter Reynolds, and this is Say Something. And, oh yeah, I'll just quickly read the back. The world needs your voice. Say something with your words, with your art, with your music, with your poetry, with your courage, or simply with your presence. And... 
for those of you familiar, I know if you're going to Costco, I've seen these at Costco. I think that's where I got mine, Word Collector. Oh, actually, I featured that in a video. I'll link that above because it was kind of cool, a bit, video of recommendations. If you say something, say something with a poem. Yeah, I really appreciate and love Peter Reynolds. Okay. Then we have... On the internet, our first talk about online safety. And I thought this was a definitely a good time to have this discussion. And I'd certainly love some help in introducing that topic and how to do that. So I'll probably give this a read myself first and then uh, talk to Vivian, my daughter, about it. I don't think it's ever too soon to have some of these kind of conversations. Now, she's not on the internet yet freely. I personally took YouTube off of her tablet and she still has access to Netflix and things like that, but I didn't like YouTube for all the advertisements, uh, but that I'm sure won't last long. She is eight, so I want to have that conversation now. Okay. The next package of books that I bought, I'm absolutely in love with, and these are definitely going to be part of our curriculum for 21 to 22. And these are mapping the continents. So there's seven of these. So I'll just show you one up close. And this one is mapping South America. I'm going to give you a close up look inside. Uh, this fits perfectly with our geography study this year. You'll probably see these again. I am planning on doing curriculum videos for the upcoming school year soon. So I don't know if this is redundant to go through these. We all know the seven continents, but this is Asia. So you had South America, Asia, uh, North America. Oh, the lighting. Mm -hmm. Europe. Africa, and then we have Australia, Oceania, and Antarctica is in one. Oh, I'm so in love with these. I'm so excited to have these, and they're everything I hoped they would be. And I'm excited because I actually found these when I was looking in the clearance section of Scholastic, and so happy <laughs> that I purchased them. I'll just read you the back if you're curious to what they're saying is not included in each one because it's the same in all of them. Population, industry, culture, borders, climate, landmarks, wildlife, sports, settlements. And anything that I'm showing you in these type of videos, if you want to see a closer look inside, leave it in the comments below. And if I get enough of those comments, I think I might do a look inside for a bunch of different ones. So uh, yes, if there's anything you want a closer look at, please let me know. I follow another homeschooler that always seems to share these a lot, Jessica at the Waldock Way. And I, so I thought I would grab one since it was in one of the clearance bins um, and see what they're like. They're supposed to be funny while they're teaching your kids about grammar, that sort of thing. So yeah, you fill in the blanks. For, for example, last year I took my vacation at a computer camp. There were 42, insert here, plural noun, there. And we spent four hours every morning learning to, okay, yeah. So I'm really happy actually I'm doing this video because I forgot I had this and it does say vacation and it would be a good one to put in our basket for the summer. <laughs> the last educational book, it's called This Book is Anti-Racist. 20 Lessons on How to Wake Up, Take Action, and Do the Work by Tiffany Jewell, illustrated by Aurelia Durand. And this was, again, in the clearance bin, so I grabbed it. It was less than half price. I'm not sure this isn't too... I'm not sure this isn't too old for Vivian yet. I have to have a look at it and see. But regardless, I thought even if it's a year or two down the road, I definitely was grabbing it for that price because we'll look at it for sure over sometime over the next couple of years. Next, I'm going to share with you a value pack of chapter books that I purchased. So these are books for beginning chapter readers 
chapter book readers and I heard of a couple of them but not others and for the price I thought what a great way to check out new series and I'll show you the ones that I was already familiar with and we love in this house. One of them is Dr. Floss is the Boss. That's the name of the book. But these are the My Weirdest School series by Dan Gutman. And my daughter loves these, finds them very funny. So it's a bonus. We didn't have this one. And it teaches her about the value of flossing. So yay. <laughs> my daughter doesn't actually like these. They're Captain Underpants, but it's in there. So I'll pass that along to someone else. This is The Bad Guys in the Baddest Day Ever. And this is by Aaron Blabby. Blaby. And I'll show you the inside. We haven't actually had a chance to look at this yet. Oh, interesting. So if your kids are reading this and like it or not, I'd love to know in the comments below. And then we have these, which my daughter fell in love with, Norwell's Utter Friend. Well, that's the name of the book. But this series is a Norwell and Jelly book. And this is by Ben Clanton. Show you the inside. So they're really colorful and adorable, of course. My daughter picked out some t-shirts this spring and she wanted all the ones with the Norwells on and she hadn't even read these books. So they're just, the cute factor for kids is definitely there. So out of that set, there is one book that has now become a, a favorite and was definitely a find. And this is a diary of a pug. So of course, I've seen these in the store, but I never really picked them up. But Vivian loves them. So Pug blasts off. He's really funny and cute. <laughs> yeah, so this one I think we read almost immediately when she opened up the package. And you're going to see some other books that I bought about a pug. And my second order is Scholastic, and I actually got confused. I was thinking it was this particular pug, but it is not. But she grabbed those immediately, too. Uh, you know what? I'll just show them to you now. This video is starting to feel long, and I'm wondering if I should have broken it up into two videos, so one for each order. If you have an opinion on that, you can leave it down below. But anyway, the next... So this is the series, the set of books that I bought, thinking it was the same pug. And it is not. This is a pug named Pig. <laughs> and he's really bad and really funny. And it doesn't matter that it wasn't the same book because my daughter absolutely loved it. And she loved the fact that she could read it herself. And he's really bad. He's a pig. No. <laughs> and he's really bad. He gets in all kinds of trouble. And it's they're funny and cute. So, yeah, she was reading these for a couple days. And when she saw me grab them to go in the video, she wanted to read them again. So definitely a hit. So this was in a value pack. I'm just going to quickly read you the titles. Pig the Tourist. Pig the Elf. Pig the Winner. Pig the Fibber. <laughs> uh, Pig the Pug. Pig the Star. And Pig the Stinker. That was funny and gross and... Yeah, <laughs> I did buy two middle grade books and this one is called Wish on the Stars by Lisa Schroeder and it came with a really cool necklace full of sparkly blue things that my daughter opened up before I even had a chance to look at it or figure out what was going on. This is about Juliet who with her friends hang out around a bookmobile in California and decide try to figure out how to do good deeds for people and she's having a great time and then they discover that the bookmobile might close unless the owners can start paying a lot of rent. So Juliet and her friends decide to help the bookmobile owners and to help them try to raise money and to make crafts, that sort of thing. Hence the necklace that was included in this package that my daughter wore for, I think, a week straight. <laughs> the other middle grade book that I purchased is called Other Words for Home. And this is by Jasmine Warga. And I love the idea of this. This book is told in verse. And last year I read Jacqueline Woodson's I'm looking because it's actually right here. You can't see it's underneath these. It's called uh, Jacqueline Woodson's Brown Girl Dreaming. And I absolutely love that book. It was the first book that I read in verse and I really enjoyed the experience. And then I heard Chantel at An Intentional Life talking about this book in particular. And when I saw it on Scholastic, I grabbed it. <laughs> 
This is about Jude who leaves part of her family, her brothers and her dad in Syria and moves to Cincinnati with her mother. And this is her experience when she first moves to America. And I look forward to reading this with Vivian or even with myself. That's what I do with a lot of middle grade is if she is interested, we'll read it together. And if not, I'll read it on my own and leave it on our shelves for later when she's interested and a bit older. Or if I can't wait for her because it takes longer, of course, to do a read aloud with her, an audio book with her, then I'll read it on my own and then read it with her later. <laughs> Okay, we're almost at the end. I have two more things to show you. One is a set of books that I bought as well as something for the homeschool room that I absolutely love, love, love. So I'll leave that for last. I do want to say one of the things that I learned because this was the first time I purchased from Scholastic and I had a hard lesson with my second order because I purchased this next set of books specifically because I thought it was a really sweet deal on hardcover books and when I received them they're soft covered and I had a conversation with the woman on the phone and basically they have a retail value for hardcover books and then they have a scratch through it and then they have the price that you're paying down below but be really careful and look at what the format is because under the format hence why you can't really complain because it does say in the format that it's soft covered however it's very misleading and i'm not even sure what why it would be there the woman on the phone that worked there said well it's so that you can compare how much cheaper the soft covered are than the hard covered books which obviously anybody that buys books knows there's an extreme difference anyway i have decided to keep them because my order was based on a coupon they sent me for $30, $30 off a summer sale. So I wasn't sure how that would be affected if I returned them, all that stuff. It just felt easier to keep them. We'll definitely enjoy them. They're how to, how to Catch series. This is by Adam Wallace and Andy Elkerton. Okay, I'm going to read you the titles. This is How to Catch a Turkey. I'll read you the titles and then show you the inside of one because the illustrations are gorgeous. How to Catch a Monster and How to Catch a F Easter Bunny. How to catch an elf, how to catch a tooth fairy, how to catch a mermaid, how to catch a leprechaun, how to catch a unicorn, how to catch a snowman, and then finally how to catch a dinosaur. So this is the last one. I'll show you the inside. Yeah, so they're fun like the, and really colorful. And my daughter's still at an age where I know she'll find this amusing. I'm not sure she's going to find it amusing more than one or two times. Anyway, you can tell that the whole experience left a little bit of a bad taste in my mouth. However, I, I chalk it up as a learning lesson that I can now share with you. So hopefully when you place your order, you're smarter than me. And take note of the pricing before you order. And to make sure you're getting exactly what you think you're getting. And I can't wait to show you the final, final piece that I ordered for our homeschool space that was in the clearance bin. So it was a sweet deal too. So maybe that makes it up for the other one. So I bought bookends <laughs> and together, well, you can't see because, oh, that's the way I'm holding them. Just give me a sec. It says read. I think these are absolutely adorable and I am somebody that loves primary colors. I noticed some of the other homeschoolers I follow, they've been changing their primary colors from a year when their kids are younger to more soothing tones and sort of. Uh, when they're older, but I'm, I love color. So I'll probably always love these and they're really, really heavy. So you can put so many things in between them. And I absolutely love bookends. I find they're fantastic to not only hold your books, but to decorate, but it's hard to find bookends that are really strong, but these are one. Oh my goodness. If they're there, check them out. That is all the items that I purchased from Scholastic Canada. If you've purchased something from them lately that you love, please leave it in the comments below. Or if you've seen something on here that you're going to order for your homeschool space, please let me know what it is in the comments below. And I will see you soon with another homeschool and bookish video.